H3N2 influenza virus symptoms treatment dos and don'ts The influenza a subtype H3N2 is the major cause of current respiratory illness in the country with the ICMR saying that this subtype appears to cause more hospitalization than other influenza subtypes The country has seen a spurt in influenza cases and it has been found that a large number of cases are because of the H3N2 virus The Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR has said that the influenza a subtype H3N2 is the major cause of current respiratory illness in the country. H3N2 influenza is also known as the Hong Kong flu. Patients are taking more time to recover and coming on the heels of the COVID-19 pandemic. This virus has led to widespread concerns. However, the medical body has said people should not panic and continue with the COVID appropriate behaviors that we have picked up during the pandemic. Here's all we need to know about the virus. H3N2 resulting in more hospitalizations currently. About the H3N2 virus, the ICMR said that the subtype appears to cause more hospitalization than other influenza subtypes. Of the hospitalized severe acute respiratory infections sari patients with influenza A H3N2. 92% presented with a fever. 86% with cough. 27% with breathlessness. 16% with wheezing. Additionally, 16% had clinical signs of pneumonia and 6% had seizures. The Apex research body also said that 10% of sari patients who have H3N2 needed oxygen, while 7% required ICU care, the ICMR said. H3N2 virus key symptoms: cough, chills, fever, sneezing and runny nose, nausea and vomiting, sore throat, body pain and muscle aches. diarrhea most of the symptoms persist for about a week how h3n2 influenza spreads the virus is highly contagious and spreads via droplets released when coughing sneezing or talking to an infected individual if someone touches their nose or mouth with the same unwashed hands that touched a surface that has the virus on it the person can contract the virus who is most vulnerable to h3n2 influenza Experts have said the virus mostly occurs in people aged below 15 and above 50 and causes upper respiratory infections along with fever. Elderly people, children and pregnant women are most vulnerable to getting infected. Therefore, they must remain extra cautious while venturing outside, the doctors said. Patients having chronic ailments like asthma should also be extra cautious. H3N2 influenza prevention and cure. One needs to follow the usual precautions against a virus, follow hand hygiene and wash hands frequently, avoid contact with individuals who have fallen ill, cover your nose and mouth while sneezing and coughing, and get vaccinated with annual the flu shot. Get plenty of rest, drink enough fluids, take over the counter medicine to lower the fever and antiviral drugs if needed. If symptoms persist, contact a doctor. Protection from H3N2 virus, dos and don'ts. Here are some of the important dos and don'ts. Dos: Maintain hand hygiene, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Avoid crowded situations, it is still advisable to use a face mask. Cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze or cough. Keep yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. If you have fever and body aches, use paracetamol. Stay away from school or work when ill. Don'ts: Touch your face and mouth. Speak in public. Contact sick individuals. Shake hands. Self-medicate and take antibiotics.